Hello! Welcome to Stories with Tori. I hope you've had a fantastic winter break. Long time no see, right? Okay, let's review our sign language. Get your fingers out. What's this? Hello. Lamp. Mistake. Fish. Yarn. Happy. Halloween. And trick or treat. Paint glue, cat, happy, thanksgiving, imagination, llama, and merry Christmas. And today we are going to talk about our fantastic 2021 Happy New Year. So you already know happy. This is happy and new. You kind of scoop up the new year like a ice cream. New and then the earth circles the sun once. Happy New Year. And I love New Year's. I love it because it's a fresh start with New Year's resolution. And which brings us to our book, Squirrel's New Year's Resolution. How many of you have made a New Year's resolution or you don't even know what a resolution is? So with this book, we're gonna answer all of the above. It is written by Pat Miller, and the pictures are by Kathy Ember. Squirrel pinned up her brand new Nut of the Month calendar. It's January 1st, the radio said. A great day to make a resolution. Make a resolution, wondered Squirrel. How do you do that? Bear might know. She went to see Bear at the Lonewood Library. Happy New Year, he said. Same to you, Bear. Do you know how to make a resolution? Is it like making a snack? Bear laughed. Resolutions are more important than snacks. More important than snacks, said Squirrel. What is a resolution? A resolution is a promise you make to yourself to be better or to help others. When we begin a new year, we make a fresh start. Wow, did you make a resolution, asked Squirrel? I did, Bear answered. I resolved to teach others how to read. I'm going to teach Skunk as soon as she gets well. Oh no, Skunk is still sick, Squirrel thought. As she hurried, hurried to Skunk's house for a visit, she forgot all about making a resolution. Skunk was sick of being sick. I'm stuck in bed until Dr. Owl says I'm better, said Skunk. I would rather be learning to read. That's my New Year's resolution. Squirrel knew how to cheer up her friend. She hid at the foot of the bed. She popped up and shouted, Boo! Skunk giggled. Hide and skunk was her favorite game. Squirrel popped up again, Boo! And again, Boo! By now, Skunk was laughing hard. Just then, Dr. Owl came by. Skunk, I can tell by your laughter that you are feeling much better, he said. Now you can visit Bear. Just make sure you have a healthy lunch first. Lunch, thought Squirrel. She headed toward the Heidi Hole Diner. Maybe someone there can help me with my resolution. On her way, she met Mole and Turtle. Mole was holding a map close to his nose. What are you doing, asked Squirrel. Turtle and I resolved to plant a garden, said Mole. But I can't find a good place to dig with all of these trees. Wait here, said Squirrel. She dashed up an oak tree and looked down. She spied Wildcat Creek, and on its banks, a perfect place for a garden. Squirrel scampered down and led Mole and Turtle through the woods to the edge of the creek. She helped them stake out string for the borders of the garden. Thanks, Squirrel. I will start digging right after lunch, said Mole. Lunch, thought Squirrel, and she rushed away. She still hadn't thought of a resolution. At the diner, Squirrel chose a stool next to Porcupine. He looked grumpy. What's wrong, asked Squirrel. I resolve to be less grumpy, so I'm trying to laugh more, but I can't think of anything funny. I can help you think of something funny, like, why did the squirrel run back and forth across the road? I don't know why, asked Porcupine. Because she was nuts, laughed Squirrel. Porcupine laughed too. I get it. That reminds me, what's striped and bouncy? Tell me, giggled Squirrel. Skunk on a trampoline, said Porcupine. Squirrel laughed herself right off the stool. Porcupine said, that's a good one. I better write these down. Off he went to find a paper and a pencil. Squirrel felt left out. 
Porcupine has a resolution, so do Bear and Skunk and Mole and Turtle, she thought. I'm the only animal in the forest who hasn't made a New Year's resolution. Rabbit came by to take Squirrel's order. Would you like to try my New Year's special, asked Rabbit? Sure, said Squirrel. Maybe it will help me make a resolution. I wish I knew how. Think of a way to improve yourself, or a way to use what you're good at to help others, said Rabbit. Squirrel ate her lunch, special, and thought hard. Just then, Skunk came in. I need a healthy lunch, too. Thanks to Squirrel, I'm feeling better. Sit with me, Skunk, Bear called. I see you brought our first book. Turtle and Mole came in next. What do you have for two thirsty animals who just started a garden, said Mole. Squirrel found a terrific place for it, said Turtle. Porcupine hurried in. Do you know why Bear said, Ka, ka? Before anyone could answer, Porcupine said, He was learning another language. All the animals laughed. I didn't know you were so funny, said Mole. Me either, said Porcupine. Squirrel got me started. Rabbit said to Squirrel, You're doing a good job on your resolution. I didn't know I had one, said Squirrel. Your actions are better than words. It looks like you resolve to help someone every day, said Rabbit. Really, said Squirrel? I did it. I made my very first resolution. Hooray for Squirrel, shouted all the animals. It was going to be a very happy new year. Do you see how we wrote it down? I resolved to help someone every day. What a fantastic new year's resolution. I might copy Squirrel on that one. That's a great one. So what is a resolution? I love how this book worded it. It's to help someone or yourself. It says a firm decision to do something. The quality of being determined or resolute. So what is your new year's resolution? SpongeBob has a very long, long, long list. And your list doesn't need to be big or really hard to do. I found this and I love this. This year, my one word is want, need, share, or succeed. For you at home, I want you to pick one word. You can pick all four if you want to, but I love the doable one word. The want is write what you want to try this year. Need, write something you need to learn or acquire. Share, write what talent or skill you will share with your neighbors, work, school, or community, or succeed. Write specific goals you have for yourself. I love New Year's. I love it starts a new year, you start fresh, and make a promise to yourself. Not to your teachers, not to your grown-ups, not to your brothers and sisters. This is a promise for you of how you're going to be better and more happy. Which brings us to, I wonder, what do you wonder about? If you have any wonders at home, email your teachers or me at tori.cutler at besd.net. And here are our very fun wonders. I wonder... What is the most snowfall in one day? Somebody asked how much snow is the most snow. I'm not for sure if you meant the whole season, but this is the most snowfall in one snowstorm. The biggest one day snowfall for the entire United States is five feet three inches. It was in Georgetown, Colorado on December 12th, 1913. And yes, I do have pictures from it. Can you imagine going to bed and waking up with five feet three inches of snow? Now, I'm five four. Like, I, it would bury me. I would walk it up the front door, and I would be covered. And I love these pictures. Can you see this guy on the stairs of some building, and he just has a little shovel? That is a lot of snow. And right here you can see December 19th, 13th. Crazy, huh? I wonder number two is what was the biggest snowflake ever recorded? The largest reported snowflake measured 15 inches wide. And I do have a ruler because it's just amazing. If you have a ruler at home, get it out. That is 15 inches, okay? That's how wide it was. That's its diameter. And eight inches thick. Can you imagine this snowflake falling from the sky? 
It might give you a little goose egg, right? Now, there's no pictures of this because this was in 1887. But I did find these other pictures of snowflakes that were pretty cool. So these are definitely not 15 inches wide and 8 inches thick. But it's kind of fun that you can go out and explore, obviously, where it's very cold somewhere. There are huge snowflakes that still do fall, which I love that. The last wonder of the week is I wonder what is the biggest snowman ever built? Now we have answered this wonder before, but someone beat the last record. The tallest snowman is in Austria and it measures a gigantic 124.8 feet tall. And yes, I do have a picture of it. It's amazing. And you can see there's a guy clear on top, which I would never do because the structure is made of snow. So hopefully it's very compacted snow. But you can see down here the comparison of just a regular size person compared to the snowman. And see these little two regular size snowmen. So they're all comparison of how gigantic this snowman is. Well, I hope you are on board the reading train. There's nothing better then when it's cold outside and you get a blanket and you read a book. It's one of my most favorite things. Well, I hope you're having fun. See you guys. Happy reading.